I'm getting more and more questions about if and how I use Evernote tasks. Uh, maybe it's because I tried Obsidian tasks and Google tasks for a while. Anyway, Evernote has this unique approach to many of its features, and that's what usually makes me always come back. And off of that, let's take a look at how I'm using, how I'm currently using Evernote tasks. Let's start from here. Evernote Home is where I manage all my tasks. All I use is the tasks widget. Uh, it's set to the medium size. I never use this. I never go to tasks. I always handle them from home. I only use tasks for fairly straightforward situations. For example, let's take a look at my dogs note and all the tasks I have there. To do that, we can go to Evernote home, for example. From here, I can scroll down to Caffeine's routines. Another option would be command J and type family here, because this is where the, the note is, documents and family routines. And by the way, this is something I try to do all the time in my Evernote. I want many paths, many ways to get to the same information. This first part of the note here has nothing to do with tasks. I talk about it uh, in this article here. If you want to understand how this works, go read the article. But basically, each, each note here is, a, for example, a visit to the vet, and each note is in the timeline notebook because that's something that is gone. It happened in the past. Below here, we have uh, a task for his bath, a task for some vaccines, the warming, uh, and here, for example, the insurance. And I have a link to the note. If I want to check the insurance, uh, the document, I can click here and go to that note. And, and by the way, for those of you who are new here, this is not my real account. This is just the account I use to record the video. So let's go back to uh, Caffeine's notes. And let's take a look at some of these tasks. For example, this one here is a monthly task. This one here is set for every two years. This one is also a, a, a monthly task. And this one is a, a yearly task. So I have different tasks here. And if we go back to home, you can see that some of them are coming up next. And here you can see why I'm using the medium size widget. I know that this is an insurance. It's due today. But is this my insurance? This is wh whose insurance is this? I can look at the note name. This will give me context. As you can see below here, there are other notes. And if I need to, I can click here. So let's go to another tasks note. I'll click here again, many paths bringing to the same place. So here I have uh, energy, home, that's the bill, the energy, my office bill, phone, and so on. So my, my monthly bills, uh, the real one has more tasks here, and all of these tasks are monthly tasks. I'll get to more examples in a moment, but before that, I'd like to address another question I keep getting. People don't understand how I can do my work uh, without tasks being my guide. As you are seeing, they are very basic. They're straightforward. So let, let me try to, let me let's split that question in two answers. First, every time I create anything in Evernote, I'll create it inside a specific notebook or in the case of tasks, I'll create it inside a specific note. I don't even remember what was the last time I used the default uh, note default task, I don't even know the name, default tasks node to create a random task. That never happens. I always select a node for tasks and always select a notebook for notes before creating them. If you want to understand why I do that and why I think that's the best approach, at least in my case, there's an article I wrote recently. You also find the link in the description below. Okay, the second part to that answer is that this is where I do my work. Every activity, everything I, I, I do in my life is here. So as you can see here, we have the creator notebook, tips, shopping, everything here. The, the, 
we recently created this uh, ideas in progress here so this are action notebooks action notes everything that i'm working on is here and i try to have this uh proactive approach to doing i always try to go through all this clients creator and take a look at what i have to do and choose based on the circumstances. And that's also why I like this widget here. It shows me the upcoming tasks. I can be proactive. I know what's coming in the near future. By the way, this different way of doing things, no inbox, being more proactive, having this spaces where I do my work, uh, all this will be and my book, I'm, I'm explaining, I'm putting all the parts together, uh, explaining my system. If you are a supporter on Patreon or YouTube, you already know how excited I am about this because I'm finally being able to connect the dots. I never put this on paper. I never structured these ideas. It, it all came to me and I always produce these videos, but I, I feel like I have to connect all these dots to help other people that would like to do something similar to what I do. So if you want to help me speed up things a little bit, uh, help me make some time, and you like what I do here, please consider uh, becoming a supporter on Patreon or YouTube. Okay, let's take a look at more examples here. Let's try collaborations. If I'm collaborating with a company uh, on a video, let's paste this video here. All you, you have to do to see if you don't know that uh, a YouTube video here to watch it inside and notes, just paste the link. And by the way, this was not a sponsored video. It's just an example. Down here, we can create the task. I always use the shortcut, uh, the keyboard shortcut, uh, check the payment. Uh, I usually estimate, I usually give it a week, but let's pretend this was already set for uh, tomorrow. And then if we go back to home, it will be one of the upcoming tasks here. Check the payment, it's due tomorrow. And I don't need to add any other information to the task title because the company is already here, company B. So it's pretty easy. And if I need to, I can click and go to that note. Another example here on my clients, for example, sometimes clients, they ask me questions I don't have the answer to, and I have to do some research. And this is what I would do here. How to use Evernote tasks, tasks. Okay, that's correct. And I hear uh, the due date, will be, of course, before the next session. And usually I do weekly sessions. So in this case here, it would be, I would set the due date for the 13th. And again, if we go to Evernote Home, where I start using Evernote every day, take a look at what we have right there upcoming. So I have here insurance. I have here check the payment, another payment here and here it is. So this gives me a very good idea of what's coming next. And I can even uh, do some of this before. So let's say I, I have some, I, I, I'm in a mood to check this and try to understand how Evernote tasks work. So I can do this before this other ones, because this is the insurance may be something that I can do quicker, just renew it online and check payment is just a check. There's not really a big thing to do here. There are only two very simple actions that I can take here. The first one is mark it, check it as complete if I get the wire transfer. The other one is change the due date if tomorrow, if I don't see the, the wire transfer there, I can give it a couple of days or, 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 or a week and decide what to do when that date comes or even write an email to the person and ask if everything is okay. But it's pretty simple. So having this upcoming all together here helps me decide what is the best course of action now that I have some time to do uh, some quick task, work on some quick tasks. Because if I look here at the calendar, there's nothing 
now, no appointment now that I have to be present, no meeting, no client, nothing. I have some time here to work on some of the tasks. And this is what I do. I switch from one to another. I have the, the appointments and then I have the tasks and then I can come here and take a look at what I can do now that I don't have any appointment, maybe write a script. And so that's the short version of how I handle all my activities as a person working alone. Again, there will be much more details in the upcoming book. So stay tuned for that. Uh, there's another uh, note that I didn't discuss here. It didn't change. You'll find the link here, the birthdays note. It's the same. So I have a list of all the birthdays and they are annually tasks. Anyway, if this was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you like what I do here in the channel, please subscribe. It helps a lot. Thanks for watching. See you soon.